Welcome back to the Bunker Workshop and part three of the Quarter Scale Patriot Build and Launch. In this episode, we're going to look at steps one and two of the build instructions and the Bunker Workshop quick build components related to these steps. I would just like to refer you back to the website. Just make sure you go back there and keep checking to make sure that you are getting the up-to-date pro build tips from Alex and the Quarter Scale Patriot Group. Right now, let's get into building the motor tube. So step one, we'll focus on the centering rings and in particular, the one with the slot, which is where the piston strap is going to pass through before being epoxied to the motor tube itself. So you'll see that in step two, the illustration shows uh, where to epoxy the piston strap to. So there are distances, there are calculations to be made and uh, that's where our quick build kit comes in because it takes all of those calculations away. Before we go any further with the video, we are just going to show you what the quick build kit looks like and how it relates to the motor tube and the fins and just as important, uh, give you an idea where it sits in the fuselage, uh, just so that you can picture that uh, before you start the build. It's a very important part. Now the uh, 3D files for these parts are freely available from Thingiverse. And as usual, there's a link in the description for everything you've seen in this video. All you need for this next step is one fin block, the motor tube, Centering ring A, which has the notch in it. Not that one. Some elastic bands, about three of those. Top hat and the piston strap. And some epoxy. Um, I used five minute epoxy, but you can use longer if you wish. For all you diagram nuts out there, I've drawn the anatomy of the motor tube assembly for you. I did this to show you the relationship between the top hat and the motor retainer threaded sleeve. Watch what happens in the diagram as the top hat is shortened. So you saw there that uh, the effect was the motor tube stuck out a bit more at the motor retainer end which is particularly useful when it comes to deciding what style of motor retention you're going to use and you can have a bit more uh, motor tube sticking out to suit the motor retainer that you've bought if you're going to use a threaded motor retainer and here's the actual components dry fitted showing the standard size top hat and the shortened uh, top hat and the amount of uh, motor tube protrusion at the uh, motor retainer end just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so it's absolutely essential that you have a dry run through of what you're about to do. This will help you identify anything that might be missing. It might be a small, very small uh, procedure that you're about to carry out, but if you've forgotten one item, uh, that could have made it go a lot smoother, then now's the time in your dry run to find out. Set yourself up for success and have as many dry runs as you need.
Okay, that is the motor tube for now. The top hat is fitted, and while that's drying, we can get on with the piston strap. You remember in step two, uh, what they wanted you to do was put some epoxy on the uh, motor tube, and just put the piston strap on there, tape it, and have the uh, centering ring with the notch in place already. We're not gonna do that. What we've done is collaborated with Alex at the New Zealand Rocketry Association, and the quarter scale Patriot group to design a fin block which uh, has a notch at the appropriate uh, depth that you can uh, put the um, piston strap through and fold it back on itself to give you some extra strength there or you can uh, lay it in the channel which has been specifically designed for that strap in, in its dimensions and uh, Put, put it uh, along the length of the fin block as much or as little as you want. Uh, so that's going to be the primary um, point for epoxying the piston strap and not onto, directly onto the motor tube. And then eventually the uh, fin block will get epoxied onto the motor tube. So now we wait for the uh, epoxy to uh, set on the fin block and the motor tube. And once that's all cured, we will assemble the three parts, including centering ring A. Like before, don't forget, um, take as many dry runs as you need before you start assembling with epoxy. Okay, it's a key to success uh, at each stage of the build. So here we are, we've reached the part where we put all the components together in the motor tube assembly. And um, this is the bit where it gets a little bit fiddly, where you've got to figure out um, what feeds through where, etc. Right, as you can see, I've got the fin block and the uh, piston cord, and I've fed centering ring A over the piston cord and put the piston cord through the top hat. And so once you've done that, you then have to put the um, motor tube through centering ring A, keeping the uh, piston cord in line with the notch, making sure the piston cord is flat and in the right orientation so that everything is aligned. It is a bit fiddly, just take your time, be patient and uh, square up that centering ring A, make it flush against the top hat. Just bring everything together until all of the components are in one assembly. There you go, all good. Nice and neat, just check everything is neat and tidy, make sure there's no gaps. Uh, everything does fit together quite flushly, it was designed exactly that way. Um, yeah, congratulations, you put it together uh, and now what we have to do is, now we've had a practice, is get that epoxy in there and make sure that this becomes one solid piece. Definitely have a few goes at putting this uh, assembly together uh, to make sure that you can do it uh, as rapidly as you need to. The key with this actually is the piston strap, just to make sure that the orientation of that strap is right on the money it's nice and flat and there's not going to be any issues especially when you are using epoxy just make sure that uh, all of the connecting flat surfaces get a good coating um, it's very important and just make sure that you don't have any uh, overspill or excess just use enough epoxy resin for this assembly and I guess the, the main thing is make sure you wipe off any excess. That's probably the best uh, piece of advice I can give you at this stage. You can actually see the importance of the top hat right there. Um, just pushing the uh, centering ring A against that 
immediately it's at a tangent and you know that that's all squared away so the top hat comes into its own it's just an essential part of this whole build of the of the motor tube assembly well that's it for this one congratulations you've completed another key part of this fantastic quarter scale patriot build you should be proud of yourselves if you've done this so far come and join us for part four if you haven't already please subscribe that'll help us to grow the channel if you liked it please click like otherwise look after yourselves we'll see you in the next one bye for now